And on this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Xtool 508S OBD2 scan tool, which has four main system diagnostics. It can do engine, it can do SRS, ABS, and transmission codes. It also supports nine different service functions. And on this video, I'm gonna show you what you get inside of this box when you purchase one of these units. Then I'm gonna walk you through its features of it so we can see how well it actually performs and what you can actually check with this tool. And as always, I'd like to remind you that I place a link in the description down below to this unit in case you wanna get one for yourself. And here's the Xtool IP508S. And on the front of the unit, we get a five inch high resolution touchscreen and this device is running Android 10.0. Now the body of the tablet is made out of plastic in gray, but there is some rubberization on the sides, so it provides some nice grip. And on the top of the unit, we have a power on button, an input for power, the connection to the car's OBD2 port and a full size USB port. And for accessories, we get an OBD cord with an approximately length of about five feet. We also get a full size USB cable with an approximate length of about 3 feet. And finally we get a USB power adapter with 3 replaceable faceplates for use in different countries. And for documentation we get a pack and slip and a quick start guide that shows us how to get started with the scanner. And this is the Xtool IP508S. Now the startup sequence that you're about to see happens when you very first time you turn on the tablet. Once the tablet has been powered on, it's gonna work just like any other tablet. We can click it on and off instantaneously with the power button as opposed to going through this whole startup sequence. But I do wanna show you what the sequence looks like if you were to fully shut down this tablet. You'll also notice that the diagnostic software is automatically gonna start up when this tablet is started for the very first time and it's gonna run automatically for you and here it is. But I do wanna show you what that instant power off and power on looks like. As long as we don't turn off the tablet completely, we'll be able to resume working fairly quickly. And let's begin on the upper right hand corner with updates. Xtool includes updates for this tool because it is connected to the internet and I can download them individually or I can do my favorite option, which is update all. And now that the tool is fully updated, we'll begin with the special functions in the upper left hand corner. And we get a total of nine service functions, we get TPMS reset, steering angle, oil reset, electronic parking brake, BMS, throttle, injector coating, DPF, and ABS bleeding. The next icon is the report tab, which includes the diagnostic report, including data playback. Next up, we have the remote control that can potentially allow a person, perhaps a remote technician, to connect to the device to help us with the diagnostic process. And to diagnose the vehicle, we get auto scan and normal diagnostic. Auto scan is convenient because it allows the tool to connect to the car and identify what make it is, in this case Toyota, and then add a automatically pull the VIN information for it and allows us to get access to all the specific features for that Toyota. Once we know the VIN number is correct, we can hit OK and begin to do an automatic scan. Now this is where the tool is going to run a full check on the vehicle to confirm what systems are present and which ones have problems. We also get a choice to create a report for the issues that the tool has found or to clear the codes altogether. And if for some reason we wanted to diagnose each individual module, we can go to that module directly by using the diagnose icon. And in case we did not need a full automatic check of the entire vehicle, we can manually select which is the system that we're interested in on checking and access that module directly. And this tool can also show us live data coming from the vehicle. Now the number of parameters that you're gonna be able to see on here are gonna vary from vehicle to vehicle depending on how many sensors you have. Some newer vehicles have a lot of sensors versus some older ones that do not have as many sensors available. But what's also pretty neat is that because the list can be quite long, they have given us a search option where we can enter the information for the parameter that we're interested in on looking at and we can find it on the list and go directly to it. And the tool also has the ability to graph the results that are coming from the vehicle and we can also zoom on that data or see this data represented in a different type of gauge, such as this little dial gauge. What's also pretty neat is that we can select multiple parameters and then go into this custom view where we can show both of them simultaneously being graphed 
and we can combine those graphs as well if we needed to. We can also record the data and we can export the data for later review. But I also found this icon in a couple different places that allows us to submit the feedback to Xtool, including a little screenshot of any potential issues or suggestions for improvement, which I think is a great idea. We also get a diagnostic icon that takes us directly to the make of the vehicle we're trying to troubleshoot. And let's take a look at the coverage for Europe in case you want to check if your vehicle brand is on here let's look at the next one next one one more and Australia what's also pretty neat is that they have given us a my vehicles tab where we can add our favorite vehicles so we don't have to go through all the individual tabs and trying to find them every time we want to use them but there's one more way to get to the make of the vehicle that we're trying to troubleshoot and that is with this little VIN icon where we can tell the tool to attempt to get the VIN number automatically from the vehicle or where we can manually input the VIN number so we can access that vehicle's troubleshooting menu and on the settings menu we have the ability to change the label language of this device and we can also change the measurement unit type and we can also fill out the workshop information in case we wanted this to come up on the diagnostic report and we can also see the firmware version that this device is currently running and under more we get a shortcut to the X tool website directly from the internet in case for some reason we wanted to browse their website through this tablet however because this is a full browser we can potentially visit other sites as well just by punching in a different web address on the web address bar. We also get a shortcut to the user manual in PDF format and the manual is in English and is also in color and it is convenient to have an electronic version on this manual directly on this tool in case we wanted to access that at some point while troubleshooting the vehicle and we're having trouble finding out how to get to that particular feature that we need. But let's also look at the operating system of this device by pressing home which takes us to the main Android desktop where we have a full internet browser in the form of Chrome. We also have a file explorer, a shortcut for the diagnostic software gallery in case we took any screenshots. And on the settings menu, we can connect to Wi-Fi. We can also see what Bluetooth devices are connected, change our display settings, and we can also see the storage being used. Now, as you can see, this tablet comes in with a 32 gigabytes of memory, and we have only consumed roughly about 55% of it. And the rest of the icons work just like in any other tablet, including the home button, a back button, we also have a volume down button, volume up button, and swiping up brings up the rest of the apps. We get Adobe Acrobat, we get an email client, we get a video player, music player, and a clock application. And sliding from the top brings up the shortcut menu where we can turn on and off the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, and we can also adjust the brightness through this little slide bar. And in case you wanted to watch YouTube videos on this tablet, it definitely can be done. And I was actually surprised how loud the speaker is considering that this is a diagnostic tool not really meant to be a media entertainment tablet but if you wanted to watch videos on this thing you could definitely do so and for battery life this tool has been equipped with a 2950 milliamp hour rechargeable battery that x tool estimates can provide approximately three hours of continuous use but you could potentially use this tool longer because the battery is always going to be charged when connected to the obd2 port of the vehicle or when powered by the usb charger and that was the x tool ip508s obd2 scan tool now where can x tool improve I would really like to see them include a paper version of the manual in addition to the electronic one that is built in on here. I think it's always nice to have something to reference physically on paper and be able to read that. I also would like to see if they can include some kind of carrying case. I understand that the price point of this tool is a lower entry price point versus some of the expensier tools that include a hard case. Perhaps they can just give us something simple like a nylon case so I can store my tool and protect it. But besides that, I think this tool is pretty capable with its four main system diagnostics, which is the engine, airbag, transmission, and ABS, and the service functions. Now, if you need more capability than that, they do have a next level up, which is the IP616 tool, which I also reviewed on the channel. I'll put a link to that in the description down below in case you wanna check that video out. And I'll also put a link to this tool in the description in case you wanna get one for yourself. If you guys have any other questions regarding this, please put that in the comments down below. And if you found any part of this video helpful, make sure you hit the thumbs up button to support the channel and stay tuned as I have a lot more OBD2 scan tool reviews coming up for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you on the next one